number 27, Sarah Dibble. Dibble over to Hayes. Hayes will put one on from about 30 yards out, right into the hands of Murphy. Binghamton gets their first shot. Onks will run up on the ball and will convert. She'll put that one into the lower right corner. The goalkeeper, Polturak, guessed the right way, but unable to get to the ball, and Duquesne is on top 1-0 now. Yeah, perfectly placed by Casey Youngs. We've seen her do it a number of times our, our last year, and she got a crack at it against Jacksonville in the first game, but today she was able to bury it, so great job by Casey Youngs there to put her team on the board. Certainly a good goal by her. Important as we take a look at the replay there, Youngs firing that one into the lower right side. The goalkeeper's left. Get ready to rush in. Bosco went up to get the head on it, but it's sailed overhead. Wilkinson now will put this one on, and we have a loose ball there. For a second, it looks like they'll just play this one quickly, though. And a shot with some decent curve on that one. By Sager, able to come into about midfield. That one's sent in. Kira Murphy punches out. O'Malley with a chance. O'Malley shanked someone to her left. It got off the inside of her foot. She had a chance at an open net, it looked like, but now still five seconds left. Sager puts that one in, and the ball is going to fall to the ground, and the horn will sound, and that's going to be the end of the game. It looked like O'Malley had a chance to put that one on frame there, and really an open net, but just misstruck it there, David. That's what it appeared. She just not get that anywhere near where she needed it to be, and it was a wasted opportunity in the game's closing seconds, so Dukes come out victorious. It was a 